Hello, welcome to AnimatedTeeth.com and our page that explains the healing timeline that follows having a tooth pulled. Using this video, we'll point out some of the main issues covered on this page. We've broken this subject into three time frames. The first 24 hours. Weeks 1 and 2. And then weeks 3 and 4, the latter being a point by which most people will probably find their extraction site of little concern. We discuss the subject of bone tissue healing on its own. Not because it's a separate subject, but instead, because it follows a longer timeline. It's important to point out that when it comes to how long your extraction site's healing process will take, the initial size of the wound matters. Wounds that are larger, wider, deeper will simply take longer for your body to fill in and heal over. Personal factors and behaviors will have an impact too, so, as you follow along, keep in mind that specifics about your situation will cause some variation in precisely what you experience. While you'd never know by looking, the healing process within your extraction site begins on the same day you have your tooth pulled. Your body will start to organize the process by which new gum tissue will begin to form around the edges of your wound. And then, within the tooth socket, the blood clot that forms will ultimately serve as the scaffolding for the mediators and nutritional components that lead to new bone formation. We mention the latter because on our supplemental pages that outline extraction aftercare both on the day of your procedure and then the days that follow, we point out that nothing is more important for the patient to do than provide conditions so an adequate blood clot will form. And then take precautions to protect it so it isn't compromised or outright dislodged from the socket. During the first week, and then on into the second, you should notice a lot of changes with your extraction site. And since a picture is worth a thousand words, be sure to notice our graphic that shows the kind of healing advancement that takes place over time. On the day of your procedure, your extraction site will of course look like a gaping wound. And even for the next several days, as its healing process gets geared up, its tissues will still look red and inflamed, will probably bleed easily on provocation, and your tooth socket will still be quite visible. Also, it's still quite likely that the area will be tender, possibly still have swelling and may still be a source of discomfort. Compare that scenario to what's occurred after a full week. At this point, the color of your gum tissue, except for right around the socket, should start to return to pink instead of red. Any swelling that's formed will probably have resolved. You should find your level of discomfort drastically reduced. And the socket's hole in your bone will look as though it's started to close in. As an idea of the level of improvement that's occurred, after a full week, Enough tissue healing and strengthening has occurred that stitches can be removed. And traumatic mishaps, like having a piece of hard food jab at your extraction site, may not cause bleeding. By the end of two weeks, the sockets of smaller diameter, single-rooted teeth will probably have substantially healed over. But, as stated previously, size does matter, so with wounds associated with larger teeth or possibly multiple adjacent ones, more time will be needed. The next two weeks, weeks 3 and 4 following your procedure, is a period when your extraction site should become less and less of a concern for you. By the end of this period, your wound should be substantially healed over, with its tissues rounded and pink, although there will still be signs of a divot where your tooth socket was. Pain shouldn't be a factor, except for the fact that the new soft tissue covering the space may be tender if prodded by food when eating. Your gums will toughen up over time, or better yet, let your dentist make you that replacement tooth they've mentioned. As far as bone forming and filling in your tooth socket goes, that takes longer than soft tissue healing. The process doesn't really start to get into gear until about a week after your procedure. By 8 to 10 weeks, the socket should be substantially filled in, but it takes along the line of 4 months before the process is fully completed. During those months, besides the whole filling in, the section of jawbone involving your extraction site will undergo changes too. The general trend is one where some bone loss takes place in terms of ridge height and width, with the result being one where the extraction site is smoothly contoured but looks somewhat sunken in. Of course, there's additional information on this page that explains the healing process and its timeline in greater detail, so please take the time to read it. Goodbye.